Having a cooperative attitude is a good virtue, but it becomes a vice if you are not self-reliant before launching such a drive. This is the essence of India's moves in geopolitical chessboard since last eight years. Hi and welcome to TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Tanya and if you're watching us on Facebook, give your page a like and if you're watching us on YouTube, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Coming back to the story, in this video, I am here to tell you about rise of India as a reliable partner for the world. After Russia and Israel, France is becoming a third reliable defence partner. Recently, the Macron administration chose India for giving its three Rafale jets some rest during its Indo-Pacific deployment. The stopover is in line with the 2018 Reciprocal Logistics Support Agreement signed between India and France. According to the agreement, both countries can interoperate on armed forces infrastructure for refueling and other purposes. French Air and Space Forces are carrying out a major long-range mission in the Indo-Pacific named Pegasus 22. Lauding India-France bond, a French readout said the operation demonstrated a high level of mutual trust and interoperability between the French and Indian Air Forces, which has been further boosted by the fact that both Air Forces now fly Rafale jets. In later phases of Pegasus 22, Indian and French Air Forces will participate in pitch black air exercise in Australia. Pitch black is to be held between August 17 and September 10 and will witness the involvement of other powers like Australia, Japan, US, Germany, Indonesia, Singapore, UK and South Korea as well. Apparently, defence cooperation is not the only area where India is becoming a key player. India is also a major player in ITER project. Situated in France, the world's largest nuclear fusion reactor called International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor is under construction. It will replicate the fusion process inside that of the sun and produce energy. You will be glad to know that India's Larsen and Tubro has supplied the single largest section of the largest nuclear reactor in the world. The 1,250-ton cryostat base delivered to France amidst the supply chain crisis of COVID-19 acts as a refrigerator which helps in keeping the temperature of the reactor in check and eventually contains the rest of the reactor. Watching the rise of India in global arena, the US also get anxious. For the past years, it has been trying to become a key partner in India's defence forces journey. The most sceptical military industrial complex in the world has decided to entrust an Indian company Tata Advanced System for manufacturing the wings of F-16s. US's defence giant Lockheed Martin Aerostructures Limited is in fact collaborating with India's defence companies. Recently, the Biden administration offered to become partners in India's Atmanir Bharta journey. General Electric recently requested to co-develop jet engine technology to be used in a futuristic advanced medium combat aircraft. Guess what? A French company, Safran, had already made similar offers to India. But the US is not buzzing. It is suffering to assist India in its stance against China. To inspire confidence in India, it is also showing faith in India's naval and ship-building capability and is docking its naval ships in India for repairs. While showing solidarity with India, the US seems to be oblivious of the fact that India is empowering other countries in an anti-China drive. Apparently, the Philippines is already in a position to counter any Chinese threats with India's Brahmos. Now, Indonesia has also jumped on to the ship. Similar deals regarding exports of HAL Tejas are being explored. The demand for India's defence products got boosted mainly during the Armenia war. In the middle of Armenia-Azerbaijan war, Armenian troops availed four indigenously built military radars from India. These radars were worth $40 million and returned unscathed from the war. In spite of rumour-mongering by Chinese and Pakistanis, India's reputation did not take a hit. 
Last month, it was reported that Armenia has again approached India for more military hardware and it is hoping that India will provide it with drones as well. The push for Atmanir Bharta is bearing fruits now. It was not long when we could boast of only a few partners, but as it is said, they don't follow you until it becomes a trend. Without any marketing drive, a strategic collaboration with India has become a trend and no country wants to be left behind.